Wiki's Hunter Antarctic bag. And when I was researching it, excuse my friend there, there wasn't really any up-to-date videos on these. There's some forum posts on it, but no videos, and I don't mind reading forums, but I feel like YouTube's easier, quicker. Um, it's a negative 60 Fahrenheit, supposedly, or negative 80 with some kind of other over bag. I've only taken it down to negative 10 Fahrenheit again, um, but it's got super warm even with that. I personally like the rectangle boxes. I don't like the mummy bags. Um, this isn't something you're really gonna backpack in. It's way too big, it weighs like eight pounds. And then the stuff sack is pretty large. Um, I got the radial stuff sack, which it's not out here, but I'll throw in a picture of it. Um, it kind of takes a while to get the thing in the bag. The stuff sack, it's kind of a pain, but just takes a little bit of time. So I will take this into the car camping in the winter, but also into the back country, like to lean tos or just random spots. But I normally am using a sled, so I throw it in there and it's fine. But I have strapped it to my uh, backpack. And I'll show a picture of that, it's just a lame mirror picture, but I have used it that way. Um, it wasn't a far hike, it was like two miles if that. that one way and I like I never heard of Wiggies I really like them I like that they're made in the US or in Colorado um, but I like the outside of this it's you know so if there's a little bit of moisture gets on it it's no big deal the bottom is a little different it's like a little lighter um, but same thing I've never if it gets wet it dries out super quick and it doesn't get the insulation of the bag wet it's got like super heavy duty zipper. I'm not sure if it's just a wiggy zipper or if uh, it's some other brand, probably some other brand I would assume. But there's the inside. Um, yeah, the only thing that gets cold when I'm in it is my face. And you just gotta put like a, you know, gotta be cognizant of that. I throw a hot boiling water analogy in there and It'll be, especially if it's at my feet, it'll be hot still in the morning. Um, it's got these nice baffles on it. So, like, through the zipper doesn't get cold. And I'm six foot four, and I fit in it just fine. Um, I'm trying to think if there's any other applicable information that I didn't have before I made this. Or, yeah, before I made this video, I guess. Um... I should put it in the stuff sack and show you that. Maybe I'll just put it in a picture because I don't feel like... I don't store it in the stuff sack even though they say you can. I don't. It's just such a pain to put it in there. So before I go out, I'll put it in the stuff sack. And uh, when I get home, I just kind of roll it up and I put like a Velcro strap around it and just put it in the spare room closet. But I really like it, especially for the price. I mean, in the U.S., um, if you do sled camping, car camping... It's just fine. It does take up a lot of the sled, but it's no big deal. It's worth it to not, when I have this, I'm not worried about how cold it's gonna be. Um, you know, I'm probably not gonna go out if it's like negative 20 Fahrenheit or below, um, even negative 10, I'm kinda weary about that. But that's not super common to be out when it's that cold, but from 20, you know, 20 below, zero degrees Fahrenheit to 20, I would say is the most common, at least for me. And this is like no worries about it. My wife's 5'3", and she stayed really warm this past weekend. Got down to 8 degrees Fahrenheit, and she said she took off layers in the middle of the night. She had like a down jacket on or something like that, and took that off because it was too hot. So, I hope this helps somebody. Um, not really super informative, but it's kind of a summary, and... Um, which I thought would have been helpful.